This style is ideal for shoulder length hair or people with fine hair who just want to add some body to their top knot. For this tutorial, you'll need hair extensions, 5 to 10 bobby pins, a comb, a brush, hairspray, and wine. The clip-in extensions I will be using are about 16 inches long, made of natural human hair, and have been custom dyed to match my color. First decide where you want the placement of the bun. I'm going to place mine closer to the crown, but a true top knot is nearer to the front hairline. Once you have it all in place, use your hair tie to secure it. This is the final location of the bun, so make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. As you can see, I don't have much hair to work with and I want a really big bun. Take your comb and back comb whatever hair is sticking out. Rough it up and give it some texture. This gives it grip, which will make more sense later. Take your first track, making sure the clips are popped out and the teeth are going toward the center of the ponytail, and starting at the base, slide the clips in and pop them into place. Work your way around the ponytail. If they don't pop, secure with a bobby pin. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get them as close to the base as possible. You're going to look really weird at this stage, which is okay. It's all part of the process. The more hair you add, the bigger the bun, so place as many tracks as you desire. Tease your hair again to give it more volume. At this point, you can tease your extensions for a fuller look. It just depends on the quality of your extensions and how much damage they can handle. Now I'm going to push and pull the hair into the shape that I want. And this part is totally up to you, how big or small you want. Choose your own adventure. Make sure you hide all of the clips with the hair. Once you get this going and the look you desire, secure with a bobby pin. Open the pin a little and, starting at the base, push it toward the center of the ponytail. Do this two or three times at the base. Keep bobby pinning until you achieve your desired look. This part can be very personalized for whatever look you're going for. It really is all up to you. For a messier look, leave some pieces down around the sides. In the back, use a comb and hairspray to push stray hairs up. And there you have it, the perfect size top knot and no one is the wiser.